The member for Higgins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for the Environment. Will the Minister update the House on the Morrison government's steadfast commitment to the Great Barrier Reef, the best managed reef in the world? Members on my left, the Minister for the Environment has the call. Well, thank you very much, Mr Speaker, and I'm pleased to take this question from the member for Higgins about the Great Barrier Reef. It's an iconic, deeply loved World Heritage Site, 2,300 kilometres long, 400,000 square, 400, square kilometres of catchment managed by our farmers, 900 islands, many of them being restored and rehabilitated. Spectacular, iconic and deeply loved. It's very interesting that when the Great Barrier Reef is raised, the Labor Party laughs. And I don't know whether they might be covering something up here, Mr Speaker, because what they might need is a history lesson. The reef was first foreshadowed for in danger listing under Labor in 2012, and it took a coalition government and a Liberal Party minister to get on the front foot to invest with Queensland Labor $3 billion for the Reef 2050 plan. And absolutely everything that Labor has responded to us in this latest iteration Members of listing of the Great Barrier Reef has failed to recognise and respond that Team Australia should be backing our reef. And I call on the Labor Party to be part of that. And, Mr Speaker, I have expressed concerns about the flawed process leading up to the next World Heritage Members Committee meeting, and I'm not the only one. Overnight, 12 UNESCO ambassadors wrote, in un unusual for this to happen, wrote to the Director General of UNESCO, similarly expressing concerns about the process for consultation leading up to this 44th World Heritage Meeting. That included the UK, it included France, it included Canada. So these concerns are valid and they need to be recognised. And the response to them from us is to say, we've always worked well within the World Heritage Committee system. We want to continue to do that. We've worked to build the Reef 2050 plan. I was in the electorate of the member for Flynn not that long ago, launching the Reef Resilience Vessel, uh, just to further $6 million under the Joint Field Management Program to have those eyes on the water, protecting this iconic place, to respond to the needs of recreational fishers to farmers, to citizen science, to the scientists that work to develop heat-resistant corals so that coral seeding can take place year-round, to the international collaborations that we have. But I'm coming back to this point because the jeer and smear from Labor should not be on this topic. What the Labor Party should be doing is no, what just, they did I'll, before. I'll get the minister to pause for a second. This was a very tight question that didn't mention uh, the Labor Party because it can't, or alternative policies. It was about the government's commitment and no one else's uh, at all, so she needs to confine herself to what the government's doing. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the communities, to the farmers, to the fishers, to the scientists, to those who live up and down the reef catchments, the 